And on the 17th of March in Glenties, we are introducing a St. Patrick's Day Parade with a twist. We are actually going for the Guinness Book of Records for the most leprechauns in one t- uh, place at one time. Jay Leno did this last St. Patrick's Day in uh, New York and he got 234. Derek Mooney then did this in Dublin in November and he got 262. Uh, we are actually going to beat the record and uh, here in Glendish, we're looking to look beat the record in Glendish. Now we've actually got information this week that there has been a new record set in South Africa, in a school in South Africa. So the record we have to beat now at this moment is actually 414. So we're asking people out there to uh, get registered as quickly as you can because we're actually making the outfit. And at this stage, there is people registered from Manchester. We have 25 students registered from Manchester. We have students registered from London. We have people coming from Belfast. We have people coming from Dungiven, people from Dublin. We have basically people coming from all over. And what we're just appealing to people is we want local people to get involved as well as people from all over the country and indeed all over the world. So please, please, please uh, get registered. Pay your 10 euro to guarantee that you will actually be entered into the Guinness Book of Records. You can actually register on glenties.ie and that actually just gives you your name and address and email. We will contact you then regarding how to make payment. But what we are looking to get at uh, this stage is sizes and money and the guarantees you your place. You can also um, uh, contact myself on carameldoherty10 at gmail.com or Anne Boner, our local dressmaker on Main Street Glenties. You can pop in there and we're actually having a registration night here in the community centre as well this Friday night from 7pm to 10 or to 9pm. So if anybody just wants to pop in, we can actually uh, size them for their, out- for their outfit, which includes a uh, hat and beard and waistcoat. We are then asking people to wear a long sleeved white shirt or t-shirt, black, red or green trousers, preferably black, black if you have them, because for photographs and that it'll look better if everybody's dressed the same, and black trousers. Uh, this is open to all age groups. Uh, we can enter babies, we can enter, it doesn't matter, any age group can actually take part as long as you are wearing the full costume. But the Guinness Book of Records are very strict so the full outfit has to be adhered to. Now in Dublin they actually had people disqualified for wearing navy trousers. Also on the 17th of March we are actually having a huge carnival parade. We had the Any Shown Carnival uh, group come up here and uh, showed us how to make carnival stuff. We actually have uh, St. Patrick, he's grown by the day at this stage I think he should be about 17 foot, so he should be quite unique. Uh, we have a dragon which will be about 30 metres long. We have then also carnival stuff like this here that you can see in the background. So it's been a hive of activity. Uh, the people from the locality have been absolutely fantastic. We just had people popping in here on a daily basis to the workshop and give up their time just to make colourful carnival stuff for the uh, carnival parade. We have asked all the schools, we've asked all the businesses, uh, all the clubs to actually enter a float parade. So as many people, and if there are people out there that actually have a novel idea and want to enter a float parade on the day, just turn up on the day or contact myself on caramelordy10 at gmail.com if they want more information. <laughs> uh, traditional music throughout the town, there'll be traditional, traditional mu- music on the bridge. There will be um, some of the old games that they're researching at the moment. I think one of them has actually thrown a puck. Uh, that will be happening on the bridge as well. So I mean, anybody can take part in them fun and games. Uh, all the pubs and clubs in the place will act in the town will have entertainment on. There'll be plenty of food available. Uh, the Limelight actually in Glenties is having a huge disco that night. They are actually doing a promotion that anybody dressed as a Lepcon will get in at a, certain, uh, in at a reduced uh, cost. Uh, there'll be just a good family day out uh, in Glenties that you can come, bring your family uh, and join in this novel idea of a world record it would be lovely to go back in a few years' time and say, well, I was there. So we're asking everybody out there to come to Glenties on the 17th of March and take part in our novel Guinness World Record attempt for the most rec- uh, leprechauns in one place and also for our carnival parade. It will be a great family day out. So see you all there on the 17th in Glenties, commencing at 2 o'clock. <laughs>
So on Saturday, the 17th of March, in Glenties, don't be an Amadan, be a leprechaun. Oh, where's my particles? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> 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 